In the small town of Plainton, life is very hard for the local townsfolk. At any moment, crime may break out when outlaws Goliath and his partner Andre decide to have some fun. But the West has one hope, the elusive hero, Ranger Pringlebush, who never fails to defeat them. But how will he fare in his latest encounter? <coughs> How many crumbs did you get today, Joseph? Oh, I've got about five. I'm eating well tonight. <laughs> Stick him up, you squirming worm and vomit. Please don't take my only crumbs. Shut up about your filthy dirty scraps of filthy dirty bread. My name is Goliath Gertrude the Gigantic Good Looking, and this is my partner Andre. Well, my full name is not really that good looking, but he's not even that tall. Shut up! You two filthy, dirty scoundrels are going to give me all your money, all your jewelry, and all your beer. Weren't you paying attention? We said we only had five crumbs! <laughs> you could have taken anything from anyone in the town, but you chose us. You're going to say something? I need not talk to low lads like this, miss. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves, tormenting innocent townsfolk. These people can barely afford to pay for themselves, and you're asking them for what? For you again, I presume? Get the secret weapon! We found your one and only weakness, Ranger Pricklebush! These are the leaves of the prickly thorn root. Ranger Pricklebush died that day, and Goliath and Andre stole the town's most valuable possession, their protection. Now there was no one in their way, and they began to run amok across the entirety of the West. Have you heard about what's happening in Plainton? I sure have, my boy. It's terrible the way those lunatics have ransacked all those towns. Don't you think we should do something about it? Our town's about to open the biggest bank in the West. We'll be next on the list for sure. We need to stand up for ourselves. No, that's a stupid idea, son. Why would we want to do that? Well, what should we do then? Well, this here newspaper said that there's a cowboy who's just driven those good-for-nothing criminals, Goliath and Andre, out of town. They'll be heading for us next, that's for sure. Did say that. And now that I've brought that up, we should do something about it. I mean, we need to stand up for ourselves. We can contact him using this new device that I just invented. It can contact people. No, that's a stupid idea. I've got a perfectly good messenger boy right here. Now run along, son, and bring him our plea. He's known as the man with many names, or John, or Leslie, or Cheryl, or Timothy. I can see a new horizon underneath the blazing sky. I'll be where the eagles fly and higher and higher. Gonna be a man in motion, all I need is a pair of wheels. Take me where the future's a lion, send down those fires. Remember when we stole all those horses from that stupid old man in Beaverton? We must have thought about a hundred before he even noticed. He was blind, don't you remember? He didn't even know that we were there. Oh, uh, well, remember when I broke out of jail? Those guys might as well have been letting me go. That's because they were letting you go. I bailed you out, remember? With my father's life savings. Oh, uh, well, forget about that. We need to think of something better than all those stupid plans. Well, what if we keep moving, and then we come up with a plan? Okay, fine, but you better think of something quick. It better not be like that time in Hood River. What? When I had to fish you out of the water? 
No, that's not what I meant. I meant when we did that hold up and we both forgot our guns. And I just had my fingers in my pocket and I held them up for 30 minutes. Names Piper, get your names Piper. How much for a newspaper? Just a dime. Here you go. But I guess by bank it yeah, just for me. The biggest bank in the West. This is it! The biggest bank in the West! This is what we've been looking for! Imagine the money that would come out of that! More than you could even count. Well, I wouldn't need to count it because I'd have someone to count it for me. Thank you. Was asking. They saw in the newspaper they just saved Clayton Town from the outlaws Andre and Goliath. And soon we'll be opening the biggest bank in the West, and we know we'll be next on their list. And how is that my problem? Okay, kid. You run along and save your little town. Thought you might need some persuasion. I think I'll need a little bit more than this for payment. Okay, fine, I'll give you my watch. That's good, but I'll be needing one more thing. That ought to do it. Newspapers, newspapers for sale. Excuse me, miss. See any rough looking outlaws pass by anytime? Maybe. How about that nice shiny watch you got there? Hand it over and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Fine. Well, you better have something helpful to say. Well, all right, Lewis. They bought one of my papers here and I heard them talking about one of their plans to rob the bank. Well, yes, but which way did they go? Well, they went that way. Did you hear that infamous outlaws Goliath and Andre have almost made it to the small town of Beaverton, where their biggest heist ever awaits them? Our only hope of catching them now is to ride a horse the rest of the way. What is your opinion on this? That is certainly an interesting opinion. Well, viewers, there is only one man who is capable of stopping them, and you're looking at him right now. Yep, it's me. I'll have your finest horse, please. You ain't a real cowboy. You ain't got no hat. <laughs> oh, well, how did the hair, John? Would a fine cowboy with a fine hat like that that you got there be needing a horse this afternoon? Yes. Give me the fastest one you have. I've actually got no horses left. These two mean old cowboys came through and took my last one. All I have is my son here. And how is that supposed to help me? Uh, well, uh, little Mickey here follows you and he bangs his coconuts together and it makes it feel like the real thing. It's just like riding a real horse with this one. 
But it was stupid me running. I, I don't see how... No, no, no. You have to trust me. If I don't sell another horse, little Mickey's going to go hungry for the night again, and you don't want that. But little Mickey knows what he's doing, don't you, son? All right, then. Whatever you say. Come on. trying to tell you something for the last half an hour. What? Back there, I saw the man that we saw in the papers. The man with many names. What? Where? I didn't see him. Just as we were at that man with the horses, I saw him come around the corner. But we're almost at town now, so I think we should hide behind these bushes and scare him. Fine, fine, but I don't want my pants to get dirty. Like that time in Hood River. Oh yeah, that was pretty bad. Not so confident without your guns, huh? Oh, great. Hand it over. How much did you get? Not enough for both of us. I've had enough of you, you idiotic fixed stuff dumb kid. I'm not working for you for another second. Ah, oh, you rock suck! And as for you, did you really think you could stop me? I had a head start on you from the very beginning. You never stood a chance. Neither did the sheriff, or her son, or anyone else in the town. Many names. 